Hey guys, welcome back to the trying to show and today guys got a video for you here. I'm doing another how-to tutorial because you know guys, you know me, I love them doing my how-to tutorials. So I got recently on Force 7 for my Xbox One X uh, for my Xbox consoles, so, but mostly for my X because you know that's the beast I'm playing it on. I want to use my 360 anymore. I don't want to get a new one because I got this one, I know it's a bit rubbish, it's, it's a knockoff cheap one. But does the job. I want to use this on Forza 7, all these Forza Horizon 3. Um, so I want to use this instead of using an Xbox controller. I'm gonna say, how, how, how am I going to do it? Things you need obviously, 360 steering wheel. This doesn't have to be a 360 steering wheel. This is also going to be a PS3 or PS4 steering wheel. That's really up to you. It doesn't really bother me. I got a 361, so I'm going to be using a 361. I got my yeah, things you need is obviously steam wheel, doesn't want more steam wheel you have. Uh, make sure it's for 360, maybe a, a, maybe a P PC one could be out of push, but I ain't sure if that, that would work. That's the reason I'm not playing the title. Uh, grab your cross max drives, uh, as well as your Xbox controller, it doesn't have to be delete, let me just put it out there. And you also need your USB cable for your delete, doesn't have it could be any cable, it could be with your phone right now, you're using the charge at your phone up. Um, as the same thing I do with Mac uh first thing we're going to go into it is plug in the Chrysler Max device into your Xbox. This is not if you're doing this on the X or the S, I'm doing this on the X. Uh, even if you're looking at to using this on the PS4, that's that's okay. Or the PS3, you know, I'm going to put like loads of things in the title. Um, next thing I'd like to do, if you, you are doing this with a, a Xbox One, uh, if you, by the way, if you're trying to use a PS3 steamer on a 360, then you will have to get a wild 360 controller. Uh, if you're looking at this video, to do it on, but I'm probably not going to put 360 in the title. Uh, take your back pack. Uh, what well, I like to do with back mine for your free uh, for your Xbox One controller. Uh, take your batteries out or your battery pack, which I have a battery pack. Uh, so I do recommend taking that out because if you don't take it out. Then your delete controller or any other controls you do have will turn back on by default, and then I'm just wasting your battery. So that's the one thing I like to recommend. So then plug in your, your USB cable into your controller, into the Quest Max device, then the controller. On the Quest Max device, it goes into zero. When it goes into zero, because first of all, it says R U, I think it is, or R, or something. But as when it turns into zero. Then unplug your your Xbox One controller from the Chrome Max device. You keep the cable on the Chrome one, but I gotta take it out because it's just me. Then grab your steam wheel. Grab your steam wheel. Plug it in for the USB. I'm also gonna plug in my uh, brake and acceleration into my steam wheel because I'll just be handy. In other words, the LT and the RT. Then, what you should be able to do, as right now you can see in the background, which we do um, a little bit of gameplay here. I'm going to do this as I'm on Forza Horizon 3. Because I just absolutely love that game. Plus, I'm on the other DLC on there. So, I absolutely love that more. So, what I'm going to do right now is move the camera and then I'll do a little bit of that. Gameplay just to prove to you it actually is working. Turn that down. So, yeah, we're gonna move the camera now. As you guys can see right now, I got my 360 sale on my foot stew. I got the um, bricks, I got my full size of bricks and free. Well, in the background, I'm just one X. Uh, so we're going to let that load in, I'm going to sit down and play some gameplay. The only reason I got my camera behind me is to prove that the 360 steamer is doing the work um, for the Cross Max Strice. The Cross Max Strice is a 
reasonable price dab that I would say, especially what it does support. But if you guys are wondering what the, the Coins Max Stress does and what consoles it works on, I will have a link down below to our Amazon link as well as the website link. Uh, just in case you guys want to pick up one and do a little bit of research on one. Uh, I also will have a playlist down below. Um, so in that case if you want to see any how to tutorials I managed to do it on or so far that I kind of used on for both of my channels that this playlist will be off. Uh, which I will have down below. I also have, will have the YouTube channel link down below as well, just in case you want to check out their YouTube channel. Uh, this is this video is not being sponsored by Chronos Max Strikes. I just feel like this app is so good what it does that a lot of people need to know what it does and how much it costs and see if it's worth it for them. So that's what I do. Well, it's Max Strikes. If you ever want to, if you ever want me to sponsor, if you want ever want to sponsor some YouTuber, a small YouTuber. I mean, man, alright? Just, just saying, if they ever watch this video. Right now, I'm going to get loaded into the game and press it backwards because I don't really like how my steam will. So, I am. So, I'm going to push on a little bit forward so that you can see the. the uh, You can see right next CLT. Uh, you can't really hear my game audio because I've got down low. Um, we just drive around here. We ain't gonna do any races or nothing. We just do a little bit of a test right here. Cause you see, I ain't that good. Cause I've been using the Steam Wheel since like back on the 360. Cause you know I've been using it for a lot more. But um, as you can see, it's all working. I'm just trying to. Stick out of the way mostly. No. Alright, first person. Most of you guys probably use the Alpha 60 cells, you probably would be a little bit more bad out there. You know where I am. There's some delay, like a couple of seconds or so. Things only because this is not actually designed to be used on an Xbox One, at least on Xbox One X, anyway. But that's okay, we're gonna stun you. I think it's gonna be better than my previous one I ever done that so far. Nah, I thought it wasn't. You see, guys, I am not good at using the 360s too much. But, you know, it's paying 50 quid for the Goyce Max Race or spending about 100 pounds or something on a new Steam Wheel in general. But I could set up my settings massively with Goyce Max Race and maybe it will download the delay. It's not too much delay, it's only like a couple of seconds down below. Uh, down, but I think when you get used to that, you kind of uh, get used to the fact it's a little bit delayed. I think that's my problem is I end up using my D controller, so I'm not I'm not used to the delays. I'm actually used to it a little bit more quick than it should be. Um. Okay, I'm going to call that it there. As you can see, I'm all about the guy that I could do. My mom will fan if I wanted to, you know, I could click A, go on to YouTube and watch this video. What money for the uploads. But anyway, that's pretty much it on this video, I think. Should you set up, should do a little bit of gameplay. 
not the other I look like. Um, I think I look a bit different here. My Muji camera angles I would use. Um, I think that's it for this Thursday's Trent Show video. Subscribe to see what's going to be happening next week and hopefully for next year. Want to do some new things in next year, 2018, on this channel. Can't say what it is yet because I cannot tell you what it is because I don't know if I'm going to carry on if I'm going to do it. If I feel like 100% I'm going to go into it and do it and then I'm going to do it that way. But I'm hopeful that it will be something a little bit different and I want to carry on doing some of the things I currently do on this channel. Like how to tutorials and music videos I hope. And so much more. Um, that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to check out the She Witch Gaming for proper gameplays. Because you know on this channel I don't really do gameplays. I do the odd oh, bits of games and maybe upload my uh, trailer. For the try for the cool game show uh, for the switch game and it's my little channel name. So yeah, subscribe when you're over you. Subscribe over there. Uh, there be applications on the end as well as the last video for this channel and the last video on that channel, uh, which I think both of them are Christmassy. So if you're still in a Christmas mood and you watch a Christmas video, click on them. Uh, and if you do subscribe over the switch game in today, I will see you tomorrow on there for tomorrow's video. Or at least you see me tomorrow. I don't know. But um, you guys stay around until 2018 and I will be happy to carry on making YouTube content. Uh, love you guys. Uh, thanks for the support. If I don't upload any more videos for 2017, then I probably will be. I think I'll be uploading two more for the next week and then that's going to be it for this year. But if I don't, for some other reason I got ill or if I'm just taking a week off or some crap to do whatever I want to do. Which at this point in time I am planning to, but who the fuck knows? Next week is next week. Um, see you next week. If I don't, see you next year. And if I don't see you next year, well then, see you at some point in 2019. Nah, I'm joking. I'll probably see you guys for next year. Goodbye for now. Hope you guys had fun. Mike's off. And Chris Max Trace, if you're looking for your guy to sell new projects, you know, to test your new things a little bit early, I'm your man, okay? Not joking. But yeah, in other words, goodbye my friends.